Hello viewers, this is Harold Plinia. Welcome back to my playthrough of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. In the last episode, we arrived in Hamlin and witnessed an interesting procession. The prince was actually dressed up like a pig, like everyone else. That urn contains a carnation cake. And over here, there is someone with a piece of heart to spare. My experiment has succeeded! Whoa, you sure seem happy. Indeed I am. All of my efforts are finally paying off. I have taken a mighty leap towards the development of a new type of steam reactor. Congratulations, mister. That sounds just swell. You are very kind, but my work is far from done. I shall not rest until I have perfected my revolutionary steam reactor. Crikey, proper fired up, ain't you? Quite right. One must have a passion for progress in all its forms. A brighter future awaits us all. That lad's got enthusiasm to burn, man. Ask him if he'll give us a lend of it. Uh, excuse me, mister. Would it be okay if we borrowed a little of your enthusiasm? Why, certainly. When one's pistons are pumping apace, it would be a shame not to share one's energy. That sure is kind of you, mister. Okay, here goes. And let us take heart to grab some of this guy's enthusiasm. And into the locket it goes. Ah, it is like a cool breeze has blown across my breast. But this is no time for flowery turns of phrase. It is time to work for a brighter future. All right. And while you do that, we'll work on saving the world. And equip Gunther with one of those guardsman's axes we just bought. And here are the palace gates. Will these stubborn guards let us through? No, it can't be that easy, can it? You lot are travelers, I take it. That's right, sir. We've come to Hamlin to meet one of the great sages, and we think he's inside the palace. Is that so? And I suppose you'd like me to let you in so you can have a look for him, am I right? Ha! A great sage indeed. Good one, boy. Huh? You've obviously not been listening to your emergency decrees. No one's been allowed anywhere near the palace for a long time. Ha ha ha, these travelers, eh? Never seem to have a clue, do they? Uh, excuse me. At least we have some manners. Yes, they are kind of rude, aren't they, Esther? I do apologize for my young friend. She was merely unaware of the decree you mentioned, and is regrettably quick to anger. Swain, what on earth are you? Shh, I've got an idea. An idea? Sw uh, Drippy looks shocked there. What is it, then? Got a way to get us into the palace, have you? Yes, and it's very simple. We wear disguises. Disguises? Where are we going to get disguises? Keep your voice down, man. Haven't you noticed? The guards' faces can't be seen under that armor they're wearing. And that is true. What? You're saying we're going to have to wear those awful pig suits? But where would we get them, Swain? We're not going to have to steal it, are we? Pipe down, man! Seriously! All right, everybody, just stay calm. I told you about the black markets they have here in Hamlin, right? Well, they'll definitely have some pig armor for us there. We just have to go and get it. Really? Crikey! 
Look who's got all the answers, eh? Humph. I don't see why you couldn't always be this... this... useful. Close your mouth, Oliver, before a fly glows in. So now we have to go to the black market to find some pig armor. But before we do that, there are a few errands available here, as I've said. And the first errand is actually over by the black market. These are the formulas we picked up earlier. Cheeseburger, a pixie do. An espresso. Upgrade to the cappuccino. A phoenix breath. Fairy chocolate. Babana flan. Carnation cake. Wildflower sundae. See through pie. Ruby ripple ice cream. And the clockwork axe. And bone mail and the eagle eye cloak. I think I'll make a scale shield right now. Success! Now let us put this new shield on Mighty. Because it's got better defense. down this alleyway. This gate was blocked earlier. It is blocked until you view that event at the palace gate. Tucked away back here, there is a pot. And it has a babana flan. You see the pig face on the pot? Now let's see what this guy has us to do. Well, there you have it. It was all an utter waste of time. A waste of time? What do you mean, sir? It's my sister, you see. She's always been poorly, and I have devoted my life to trying to find a cure. Gee, it sounds like you've both had a hard time. I hope you find that cure for her soon. Humph. I was on the verge of completing a remedy I felt sure would cure her. But now I wonder why I bothered. Huh? But you are nearly there. I fear it has been a fruitless exercise. All those years I've wasted. Bah. Perhaps nothing can be done for her. I am not going to spend the rest of my life on a fool's errand. I did my best, but it is over, and she must accept that. Ah, uh, Mr. Drippy, I think this man might be. There's Sharp Ollie boy. You've got it in one. He's heartbroken, and no mistake, lacking kindness he is. So let us undertake task 10, a sister's savior. If things stay like this, his sister will never get well, and he'll never be happy. We have to do something. That was good of you, Wally boy. Now remember, it's kindness we're after. Scribble it on your hand so you don't forget. And we just... Well, we have some kindness... What are you waiting for? Cast Give Heart, man. Yep, we will cast Give Heart. And we will infuse some of that kindness that we...
got earlier. What in the world have I been playing at? Dawdling here while my dear sister suffers. Nido, you got your kindness back. Now you're cured, it's time to cure your sister. You have my deepest gratitude. Now, on with my research. Ah, uh, but it almost slipped my mind. Please accept this as a token of my appreciation for your sterling work. You have saved two lives today. He gives Oliver two bottles of pixie dew, 500 guilders, and three merit stamps. And we also get a bonus stamp. The next errand numerically is up in the northern part of town, so we will go back over there. This town is pretty big for a town in this game. Threat and damnation! Am I not a man? Why must I always lose my nerve? Um, what's the matter, sir? It's a sorry tale, I'm afraid. There is a young lady whom I have known since my earliest days, and I had planned to ask for her hand in marriage. Jeepers, that, um, that sure sounds romantic. Romantic? Far from it, I'm afraid. I cannot muster the courage to say a single word in her presence. I have known her all my life, and yet now I find myself going out of my way to avoid her. Uh, Mr. Drippy, I'm kinda new to this stuff. Is this normal, or... Sounds like a clear-cut lack of courage to me. This poor lad's broken-hearted. And what are we going to do about it, Ollie boy? Well, we will accept this task. Number 11, a proposal postponed. Well, gee, we can't just leave him like this. We'll have to give him back his courage. That's the spirit. You're a proper gentleman, Ollie boy. But unfortunately, there isn't any courage to be had at this point in the game. Not anymore, at any rate. It'll be quite a while, I think, before we find the courage for him. So let us move on to the next errand. Naturally, these silly traveling merchants here have another problem. But first, I'm going to fill my face with cake, burp. Then I'll eat ice cream till it comes out of my ears. And then, and then, hey, haven't you had enough? You can't go on eating like this, dear. Flipping heck, she's got an appetite on her, ain't she? Yeah, I wonder why she's so hungry. We've saved up a bit of money, haven't we? Let me enjoy it. What are you on about? We scrimped and saved that money to open our dream shop. Carry on like this and we'll be back where we started, without two guilders to rub together. That's no doubt about it. It's restraint this lady's lacking. If we don't do something sharpish, their hopes and dreams will disappear into her gob. So we will undertake task 36, a hearty appetite. 
Sure, Mr. Drippy. We need to give her some restraint fast. Unfortunately, we already have some restraint. Cast give heart and serve her a healthy portion of restraint. So we will use the give heart spell. And we shall give her some restraint. Ooh, I feel all warm and tingly inside, but I also a little full. Whatever have I been doing? This money was to get our dream shop off the ground. I can't just keep eating into our savings. There you go, right as rain she is. And it's all thanks to yours truly. You owe me one, missus, and no mistake. You drippy. Mr. Drippy, you can't say that. Ha ha, it's fine. He's right. We owe you a lot. You've helped us through a tough patch yet again. Here, take this. It's our way of saying thank you. And they give us three soft scoop ice creams, 500 guilders, and three merit stamps. And that's another stamp card completed. We'll probably have to help those guys again later on. And the next town is back in the northern area. I mean, the next errand is back in the northern area. Before we execute this errand, you may remember that this soldier had some restraint. There are times when I would love to join in with the cheering crowds, but I must restrain myself. Now that's what I call self-control. Got restraint coming out of his ears, this one. Um, excuse me, sir. Would you mind sharing a little of your restraint? We need it to help people who've had their restraint taken away from them. You mean to tell me that my self-discipline could help someone to control their unruly urges? Well, in that case, be my guest. Thank you, sir. Now we can take heart and relieve this guy of some of his restraint. And it goes into the locket. I say, I have a rather pleasant tingling in my chest. I really appreciate it, sir. Good luck with your guard duties. Why, thank you. Your encouragement has inspired me to strive even harder in my work. And this corona will be instrumental in the next errand. Drink some coffee though to get back some MP. The next errand is the sky, this balcony. Oh dear, dear me, this simply will not do. They will never be ready in time. What's the matter, ma'am? Oh, this lady at the balcony. Oh, young man, I am in quite a predicament. I wanted to give my mother flowers for her birthday, but this plant just will not blossom. Her birthday is just around the corner, and yet this stubborn plant refuses to cooperate. No wonder the poor dab's flustered. Her mam's going to be none too pleased. Couldn't you put t your heads together and come up with some way to help me? Um, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm afraid I don't know much about flowers. Come on, Ollie boy. 
You're a wizard, aren't you? With flipping magic and everything. There must be something you can do. Magic, you say? Oh, please help me out. I would be ever so grateful. So we will undertake task 54 of Flower and the Fug. Okay, I'll try. I mean, it would be too bad if your mother was disappointed on her birthday. Thank you ever so much, young man. I'm counting on you. If only this stubborn plant would blossom. So are we supposed to try to cast Quicken Growth? Doesn't seem to work. Okay. Now we have to examine the plant. Hold on a minute. Didn't you have a spell that makes plants grow quicker? Yes, we do. We have quicken growth. Blooming marvelous. Hang about. It didn't flipping work. You're right, Mr. Drippy. Maybe I should try it one more time. It's no use, Solly boy. Using that spell willy-nilly will just shorten that poor plant's life. That's not good. Oh, how awful. We wouldn't want that. I reckon what this plant needs is a decent so dose of sunshine. I'm afraid that sunshine is in rather short supply here in Hamlin. Oh, this plant will never blossom. Don't get your knickers in a twist, missus. There may be another solution, like... I forget where I heard it, but someone said something about a very interesting creature that looks just, looks just like the sun. That's it. If we could get that critter to shine its light on this plant, it might blossom. There sharp you are. That's just what I was thinking, Ollie boy. Okay, let's go find it. In fact, we already have it. This, the sunshine here can be caught in the shimmering sands around Alma Moon. We found you the next best thing to sunshine, ma'am. How extraordinary. It really does look just like the sun. Let's get it to shine its light on your plant. Aha, that did something. Neato, the flowers are blooming. You're not wrong, Ali boy. Feast your eyes on those beautiful blooms. Oh yes, they are simply exquisite. My mother will be over the moon. Swell, we got the plant to flower in time for your mother's birthday. Thank you ever so much, young man. I would be honored if you would accept this. She gives us a purifying pulse gem, a thousand guilders, and five merit stamps. Flower is growing nicely, it, it appears. There are a couple more errands available. special for the next errand. We will need a carrot cake.
end of the client is the guy we helped earlier. This is a calamity. My supplies have run dry, and I was so close to finishing. Is something wrong, sir? I was on the verge of completing this medicine for my poor ailing sister, but I have run out of ingredients. Please, what rotten luck. You must be real worried about her, huh? Yes, indeed I am. At present, she is convalescing in Castaway Cove, but if I could cure her, she could come home and live with me. You mean she's stuck there until you finish making her medicine? Jeepers, no wonder you're working so hard. I actually have a small favor to ask of you, if I may. Would you be so kind as to collect some feel-good fungus for me? So we will accept errand 55, making medicine. You would? Oh, that's simply splendid. That would be a huge help. You should find feel-good fungus growing in the forest to the west of this city. Okay, sir. Leave it to us. Thank you so much. And we will find that we will need to trade someone that carrot cake in return for the fungus. And there is one last errand to pick up in town here before we go exploring to take care of the errands. And it's Derwin. Oh, it's you. It seems our paths have crossed once again. I predicted that you'd come this way, of course, and that is why I took the liberty of lining up a task for you. Hi, Derwin. What is it that you want us to help you with? I think you'll find it's along the same lines as last time. To assist me in my vital research, I require that you bring me three very specific creatures. Now, do you wish to help the progress of science or hinder it? So we will take on... Errand 72, Mechanical Creatures. Good, that was the correct answer. I shall proceed. I have always wanted to research certain curious creatures that inhabit this area. What kind of creatures are they, Derwin? I applaud your curiosity. The creatures in question belong to the Automata genus, about which science still has much to learn. In the name of progress, I would like you to find me a large mechanical creature, a small mechanical creature, and finally, a creature that takes the form of a brown cog. It goes without saying that it will not suffice to simply stash these specimens in a familiar retreat. No, you must bring all three of these creatures to me together. All right, Derwin. Before we get started on this BS task, we will rest at the Cat's Cradle. Welcome to one of the Cat's Cradle's chain of premium inns. We pride ourselves on being more convenient, safer, and cheaper than the rest. So let us stay here. We are proud to offer a fine selection of rooms, and remember, your custom is always appreciated. With more rooms than any other cat's cradle, we leave the inn and Alma Moon to shame. Look at your wizard's companion, Ollie Boy. It's gotten bigger. The memories of all the travelers who stayed here are filling it back up. Tidy. So we get a new Regions of the World page for Autumnia. Yes, we will save. That is it for this video. I would like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.